Well hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, afraid I've been away for a little while and uh, today we're going to try and start catching up on some of those videos. We're going to start off with a small one uh, which is the removal and repair of the cigarette lighter. Now uh, most of you these days don't use a cigarette lighter or we've had a period where we didn't use them very much but that's starting to come back in with some of the accessories that we're starting to have like your dash cams and stuff. Um, and on certain models of this car, they used um, different cigarette lighters. The one we're mostly going to be looking at um, is the one that has its own fuse. Now, in other models, they did away with a fuse, just put in a wire link. So rather than try to go to the problems of uh, getting hold of more fuses, we're just going to upgrade it to the newer type, uh, which it just has a wire link. And it's a very simple, easy job to do. If the cigarette lighters were still available, that would no doubt be a fortune. Why spend a fortune on something that you can very, very quickly and easily repair and continue using for many years to come? So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're looking at how to remove it and how to replace it. Just a quick, simple, hopefully quick, simple video. Um, just a couple of things before we get uh, going today. Uh, first of all, a reminder to all of you, and please, please bear this in mind, I am not a mechanic, I am not a professional, this is just my hobby, I do it for a bit of fun, I'm probably talking a load of crap about what I say, so whatever you do, if you're thinking of copying anything that you see in any of my videos, please get professional advice first. Um, second one, before starting any work on your car, especially if it's electrical work, always disconnect your battery first and finally always make sure you use the correct tools um, this can avoid both damage to the vehicle and damage to you so we'll move on very quickly uh, a quick look at the tools you're going to need for today's job some very very basic tools simple phillips screwdriver the length is irrelevant a short one because we're in a smaller space might be better um, some sort of Stanley knife or sharp knife or a wire stripper um, will come in handy. A couple of trim tools. <coughs> a little pick tool, ideally angled backwards, but not necessarily important. A very small pair of side cutters. And a piece of electrical cable, single core cable. Now, in this country, we call this 1.5 mil lighting cable. In your country you may call it something else I'm not sure what the SWG rating is but anything household uh, for lighting should do the job so that's the first two bits out of the way we'll move on to the car and have a look at the job okay for those of you with a sharp eye you'll notice that I'm not wearing the same clothes as I was a few minutes ago and that maybe the daylight's changed as well that's because we originally did this video some weeks ago and when it came to putting the video together and editing, we discovered that uh, it didn't have any audio on the parts that were recorded inside the car. So I'm having to do this section again. Um, hopefully it'll go right this time. Um, so if I recall, uh, what we're going to be doing now is actually removing the cigarette lighter to carry out the repairs. Now, it actually seems like quite a lengthy job on the face of it but it's actually quite simple and quite quick taking no more than a few minutes to remove it if you know how to do it now there's two ways of doing it one is the option that seems much quicker but it's the highest risk to you because it's going to involve putting your hand into areas that have got a lot of sharp metal pieces um, and it's very very tight working area but i'll show you it all the same the quickest route is to access via the shift uh, column so if you unscrew the gear knob like so you can then pull this up straight out like that and then you have access to the cigarette lighter just here now as i say there's a lot of sharp pieces of metal here and this is not my favorite option of getting it out i prefer to take the slightly longer option but it's much safer route it also allows me to demonstrate clearly or more clearly um, what you're going to need to do from underneath and also to aid that um, that instruction I've brought in a spare center console with the cigarette lighter mounted now this is a left-hand drive car obviously 
and the cigarette lighter is always on the opposite side of the car to the steering wheel. The other column I've brought in is for a right hand drive car and the cigarette lighter mirrors um, where it's located. So to get in the longer way, but in my opinion the better way, involves taking out this uh, cover here. If you're in a right hand drive car, it'll be mirrored on the other side. So here we go. To get this out, first of all you need to reach right along the back of this plastic section and if you get your fingers underneath and pull it it will pop out this little plastic lug so just remove that out of the way then you have a screw here but the screw is under a cover to get that cover off you need a little pick tool and you just get around the back of the cover and pop it up now some of them have still got a little hinge attached others in fact most of them have now got the hinge broken either way won't make any difference you'll still be able to take it off and put it back here yeah, mine is broken as I suspected so you have access to a screw right here screwdriver in there and take that screw out now if I recall because I've not done one of these for a long while now there is behind here a plastic popper which you can push with your thumb. I don't know if you can, I don't think you'll be able to quite see it. Oh, yes, you can. Yeah, just press that plastic popper and then this will come out further. It's very, very flexible plastic. Once that's out, you then, I believe it goes this way. Yeah. it's down slightly and then forward. Yeah, there you go. Watch this bit yep. on the dash okay so there we go you was trying to um, disconnect this piece here it goes on to that little clip there so that's that out the way now we've got side access to the cigarette lighter as well as the front access if we need it disconnect your battery before doing this as the manual tells you I don't always listen to the manual um, but my advice to you is to disconnect the battery first now from here you can see underneath we have three wires attached to the cigarette lighter one is for the bulb one is for the ground wire one is for the live wire so we can first of all how are we going to do this yeah i think we'll do the wires first so getting to these is a bit of a problem they're a little bit tight in there and i think we'll have that little pick tool so on the side of this white plug you'll see just here there's a little plastic strip and you'll need to push that strip in and then pull down on the plug okay next one is these two wires here go up to the bulb to undo the bulb you just turn it anti-clockwise as viewed from underneath it's clockwise if you're viewing from above and then the bulb will pull out like so and then the earth wire, which you can't see, but it's around the side there. I'll show you on this one here, make it easier. In fact, I'll show you all three again. So the white one, you press in this little white lug here and then pull up on the plug. Usually. You're pulling all of them. Yeah, I am, aren't I? Okay, I have noticed the odd one actually you have to pull the plug out rather than uh, pull that lug out rather than push it in. And I guess this is one of those. So here's where your pick tool comes in handy again. Get behind there, pull that out, and then that'll come off. Your light, anti-clockwise, pull it out. And then this black one on the side here, you push again in the middle. So you get your finger in there, push on the side, pull off the earth wire so I'm feeling around for the center of the plug and unplugging so there's our three wires undone the next thing we need to do with those wires out the way is undo this big thumb screw here or big thumb nut okay we're going to do that by reaching underneath Oh, that wasn't done up very tight. 
So we undo that. Now be careful, there's going to be three pieces that fall down into your hand. Don't lose any of them. I'll move this out of the way. So we've got one, two, three pieces. I'll show you how to put it back together in a minute. They've got to go in a specific order. With those three pieces done, your cigarette lighter comes out as easy as that. And uh, I believe in another section of video that didn't go wrong, I'll show you how to do the basic repair to these um, rather than have to buy a new one. And I'm not even sure if these are still available. Now what I've done here is taken out a centre console piece. This is to give you a closer look at what I was doing inside the car because it's very restricted space and difficult to film. So if I turn this over, it's exactly the same as the one in the car and you can see the bits that we had to undo from this side much, much better. We started with a light, anti-clockwise turn it, it's about a quarter of a turn and pull it out. Then we had this white plug here. Do you remember the little tag there? Just get your screw, uh, your little uh, pointy tool. What's the word for a pointy tool? <laughs> Pick tool, yeah. Just get under there, pull that clip out, and then this will come off. Now, a lot of people make the mistake of trying to pull these off without undoing that little clip, and then they end up breaking the plug. Comes off easy as that. And then pop that back in, ready for when you put it back on so it locks in place. And then the final one was this black plug. Again, push on the little tag. Where was it? The tag at, ah, sorry, the tag in the middle there. Push in the middle, and then this one will come off. Nice and easy. You don't need to disconnect the one going to the cigarette lighter. Then what I did, uh, yes, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, then this was the big nut I was on about. Okay, just simply turn that nut. Hold the cigarette lighter on the other side so it doesn't all fall out onto the floor. Unscrew the big nut, followed by this cover, and then followed by this plate. Now your cigarette lighter pushes out from the other side. Easy peasy. Now the cigarette lighters, the two types I was talking about, are easy to identify. One has a black wire here. And this one I've never known to go wrong. It's just a solid piece of wire that joins the center positive pin of the cigarette lighter to the main cable, the live cable. I'm not sure why they've done that, um, but they have, um, and who am I to, to say? The other type you'll find has a white wire in the middle. This is actually a fuse inside here, and the fuses are known to go. The way to know if this fuse has gone rather than the main fuse is if the main fuse goes in your fuse box, there will be other items in the car that don't work. If everything else appears to work but your cigarette lighter doesn't and you have a white wire here, chances are it's that fuse that's gone. And this is easy to replace with a simple piece of wire just like this one. So I'll take this out of the holder just for ease of working. And what we're going to do now, first of all, I'm going to put on a pair of glasses because I'm going blind. Don't tell my wife I stole her glasses because I tell her my eyesight's fine. And all we've got to do is the brass tab on there that holds the wire is literally wrapped around the wire. And I've chosen this tool. As long as you don't squeeze it too hard and break the wire, you can simply grip it nice and easy and just roll it back carefully. You don't want to come too far, just enough to get underneath that brass tab and release the wire. And normally it's a bit easier than this, and I'm going to have one of those difficult ones as always when you're filming. I think that should be sufficient to pop that wire out. Yeah. Then we'll do the next one along. Just roll it out nice and gently. Just enough to release the wire. Then we go to the other side and do exactly the same thing. Roll it round bit by bit, nice and gently. 
and then this one okay now we can take this wire out and what you're going to do is get a new piece of wire like I say the color of the wire is irrelevant it's just a piece I had to hand you're going to mark out basically the same length as the old one as close as you can in size to the old one you're going to trim back the ends about five millimeters try not to cut your fingers and also try not to cut through the wire you should really use a proper pair of wire strippers so you don't mark the internal wire but I don't have a pair to hand and I think this is what most people have to hand so that should about do us now a simple case of putting it back together getting your two ends into position It's a little bit of a detailed job, but it's not too bad. This is a job that anyone can do at home without too much difficulty. Get that end under there. Just need to make a slightly bigger gap in there. Okay, we're in position. Now we we'll start to roll those brass tabs back to hold the wire. That's one side, now I'll do the other side. And if you've got a tiny pair of pliers, they might be a better tool for doing this. I just didn't have a pair to hand, but I'm sure you know exactly what to do and if you have a better tool use it so we've got good electrical contact on both sides it's well clamped in there not going to go anywhere just a bit of piece on there okay that's all you need to do and now this will work fine so now let's put it back in the car I'm not actually going to put this one back in. I'm going to use the original one that came out of my car because I'm very, very particular on uh, all my original parts. I don't think that was my one either. <laughs> I've got to go and find what I did with my one and we'll put my one back in the car. So with the cigarette lighter repaired, it's time to put it back in. And it's basically the reverse of taking it out. But there is a couple of things that are worth noting when you put it back together. If you get it wrong, it won't go in as easily as it should. First thing to note is if you look around the side of the uh, little piece that lights up here, you've got a little tiny piece that sticks out. And in the recess here, there's also a little cutout. So when you put this back in, you've got to make sure that that goes into that hole there. If it doesn't, it will sit proud like so. It won't be even, so turn it round till it drops into the little lug hole sorted next part is this piece now I'm going to show you this on this one out here because you're going to need to know this when you put this back in you'll see there's a hole here and underneath here is a pin so you have to make sure that you turn it so that it lines up and goes over the top of that pin. The pin is to the front of the car, so we go uh, this way up, slide it up over the cigarette lighter, 
use your fingers to locate the pin drop it over the pin now hold the whole thing together while you get this piece goes this way up and which way round it goes this way round so again over the cigarette lighter okay before doing the final bit i need to show you something again on that when you put this one in and it goes this way up you've got to get this box section here to go between those two pins there so it'll be going like so and then the final part of the reassembly is the big thumb nut that goes this way up this way up now my head's going to be in the way here because I need to hold this now for some reason sometimes this goes straight on other times it doesn't and I think this is going to be one of those times when it doesn't ah there we go I thought that was never going to go on for a second so once again back to the black plug with the operating bit on the outside towards the front bring this round from the pin just there then I'm going to do the bulb because it's the hardest one to get right at the top there so you go in the bottom here and turn it clockwise if viewed from underneath or anti-clockwise from above and then the final one is this white plug here now if you had to pull this pin out then make sure you pop it back in before you put this back on like so that's that done i'll put that back in before i forget and now we'll go about putting this side back on so that won't scratch start with this one got to go over the top of there like so now we've got this pin here but before pushing that in we're going to flex this so it goes up under here we've got this little hook here that has a little hole under there where that will go into it will normally feed itself in automatically as you take everything around and then we'll push this stud back in here which usually lines up automatically as you push everything else into place same with a screw that will normally go straight into the hole automatically like so cover over the screw and then finally this popper down here push that in like so cover on here time to get a new one I think this one's just about had it and your gear knob back on there okay job done so something that seemed like it was going to be a big job because you're taking panels off and stuff actually turned out to be a really quick and easy job so with that done i'm sure that this video is going to be uh, useful to some people i know a couple of people on the forum are forum have mentioned that they've got problems with their cigarette lighter and that it's definitely a fault with a cigarette lighter and nothing else in the car so that's how you get it out hopefully that will solve any repair problem you've got um, and uh, this is another video for your arsenal that might be of use to someone um, so that's it for this video thanks for watching once again uh, don't forget you can uh, Click on the, the bell and get automatic updates every time there's a new video come online. You can give us a thumbs up um, or you can join my forum, send us a message, 
talk to other people that have these cars maybe you know a better way of doing this share the information we're all out there to help each other um, and if you'd like to contribute financially to the making of these videos uh, there's also a patron site which you can get the details from at the end of this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time